Good evening, my Sparrow family. I hope that you all are okay and that you haven't killed each other in this quarantine. We hope that we can bring a little bit of joy to your home with this bedtime story. I'm going to read to you a book called I Dreamed I Was a Ballerina, written by Anna Pavlova. But first, I'll read Anna Pavlova's biography. And a biography is a story about the real person's life. And she's the author of the book. And then Edgar Degas, he's the painter of the pictures that you'll see in the book. So I'll read the biographies first, and then we'll go ahead and read our bedtime story. So here we go. About Anna Pavlova. Born in a suburb of St. Petersburg, Russia, Anna Pavlova was inspired to enter the ballet after seeing a performance of The Sleeping Beauty at the Marinsky Theater with her mother. At the time, the public favored athletic Italian ballerinas, so young Anna's weak feet and scrawny body were not considered promising. However, after several years of practicing and waiting, Pavlova was finally admitted to the Imperial Ballet School. Upon graduation from the school, with much ingenuity and hard work, Pavlova had begun transforming her weaknesses into gifts. She modified her ballet shoes with leather and stitching to give herself great stamina. Today's ballet slippers are similar to those adapted by Pavlova. And she used her, flexibility, her flexible body and delicate manner to give her performances an, an expressiveness that audiences loved. Eventually, Pavlova became prima ballerina at the Marinsky Theater, fulfilling her childhood dream. She toured widely throughout the world. It has been said that she journeyed 350,000 miles to 4,000 cities in 15 years, often performing her signature piece, The Dying Swan. In 1931, Pavlova contracted pleurisy and inflammation of the lungs. Doctors could have saved her life with an operation that would have left her unable to perform. But Pavlova refused to live without dancing. Her last words were reportedly, get my swan costume ready. The night after her death at the theater where she was to perform, the dying swan, the orchestra played, the curtain opened, and a spotlight went up on an empty stage. So that's quite a legacy that Anna Pavlova has left us as ballerinas. And the dying swan is a scene from the famous ballet called Swan Lake, if you didn't know that. Now I'm going to read you the bio of Edgar Degas. About Edgar Degas. The French Impressionist artist Edgar Degas created paintings, drawings, pastels, sculpture, and photographs. One of his favorite subjects was the ballet dancers of the Paris Opera, who feature in about 1,500 of his works. Degas was as familiar with the discipline as the dancers' practice sessions as he was with the magic of their performances. Degas never worked with Anna Pavlova, and they probably never met. It is possible that he saw her perform in Paris, but that would have been decades after he created most of his ballet-inspired art. Despite their separate histories, Degas' art and Pavlova's words reveal a shared passion, the mesmerizing spell of ballet. So that's a short biography on Edgar Degas. Now let's go ahead and read the story that Anna Pavlova wrote. Once again, it's called, I Dreamed I Was a Ballerina. Vivid are my earliest recollections, which take me back to the time when I was living in a little apartment with my mother in the city. And here you can see a Degas painting. I was the only child, and my father, having died two years after my birth, we two were alone in the world. We were very poor, very poor indeed. This is a picture of a woman. It looks like she's probably washing clothes or doing dishes. And yet my mother would never fail to provide on special occasions a surprise for me in the shape of some treat. I can still remember my enthusiasm when on one birthday I heard that we were to celebrate by going to see a performance at the theater. And here we have another painting. I had never yet been to the theater, and I plied my mother with questions in order to find out what kind of show it was that we were going to see. 
The title of this painting is called The Dancers Preparing for Class. And you can kind of see, this was the style that Degas painted in. She replied by telling me the story of the Sleeping Beauty, a favorite of mine among all fairy tales, and one which had already told me countless times. And this painting is called The Dancer. When we started for the theater, I felt unspeakably happy beside my mother, her arm tenderly enclosing my waist. You are going to enter fairyland, she said, as we were being whirled across the darkness toward the theater of that mysterious unknown. And this painting is called The Singer in Green. <clears throat> the music of The Sleeping Beauty is by our great Tchaikovsky. As soon as the orchestra began to play, I became very grave and attentive, eagerly listening, moved for the first time in my life by the call of beauty. And this painting is called The Violinist. But when the curtain rose displaying the golden hall of a wonderful palace, I could not withhold a shout of delight. This painting is called Dancer on Stage. And I remember hiding my face in my hands when the old hag appeared on the stage in her car driven by rats. In the second act, a swarm of youths and maidens appeared and danced a most delightful waltz. This painting is called The Ballet. You can kind of see people sitting in the audience. How would you like to dance thus, asked my mother with a smile. Oh, I replied, I should prefer to dance as the pretty lady does who plays the part of the princess. One day I shall be the princess and dance upon the stage of this very theater. This painting is called Dancers Pink and Green. You can see their pretty green tutus and their pink bows. My mother muttered that I was her silly little dear and never suspected that I had just discovered the idea that was to guide me throughout my life. And this is just a sketch that Degas did of a little girl practicing at the bar. We do that at ballet, don't we girls? And boys. And then this is one of Degas' most famous paintings. You may have seen that one before. They're all rehearsing. The choreographer is here. When we left the theater, I was living in a dream. During the journey home, I kept thinking of the day when I should make my first appearance on the stage in the part of the Sleeping Beauty. And this painting is called Dancer in Green. That very night, I dreamed that I was a ballerina and spent my whole life dancing like a butterfly to the sounds of Tchaikovsky's lovely music. I love to remember that night. And this painting is called The Rehearsal on Stage. And that's it, the end. So sea dancers, even the most famous people, they didn't start out as superstars. A lot of them started out very poor and just with a dream. So even though you can't be in dance class right now, don't stop dreaming, don't stop twirling in your living room, and use your kitchen counter as a ballet bar. Okay, dancers? That's your bedtime story. I hope you all sleep sweet and dream of sugar plums dancing in your dreams. Bye!